Welcome to Comic Con Marvel's The Gifted Cast. Thank you. <laughs> it's your first Comic Con. First of all, how's it going? Wonderful. It's pretty fun. Come on. Yeah, I'm a wonderful time. Are you ready for next year to be seeing people dressed up as your characters? Yes. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. So they'll, they'll, wear, they'll wear a flannel shirt. If you put on a flannel <laughs> shirt, <laughs> you've, you've nailed my look already. And like yeah. bad other clothes, like messy. Dirty I want to see lots clothes. of people in Republican suits. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like me. Yeah, with the, they'll be in a winter. Little American flags. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Stephen, have you seen any vampires walking around? Actually, no, I haven't. Really? No, I haven't. Vampires are so passe. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about mutants now. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You guys, we've got to talk about the fact that this is a part of the X-Men universe, which, first of all, is such a beloved Marvel comic. Does that put any pressure on you guys entering into such an iconic, beloved world? It doesn't, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. It's a privilege to be part of that universe, and at the same time, we have our own... You know, they're, they're very... They're, it's sort of, it, we don't have to fill any shoes. We're doing, we're going down our own route along the same, uh, down our own route uh, within this universe. So it's, there's a pressure of being part of it or to, to do, what, do it justice and be on, honor it. But other than that, <laughs> why am I bumbling so much? No, no, obviously no. I'm terrified, but there's loads of pressure. If we found those uh, shoes, we'd be happy to fit them. Yeah, they fit us. different sizes. <laughs> one different sizes. Right. Yeah. And the other yeah. shoes. Seven. Coffee is a dangerous thing. But, but there's an advantage so to it too, because yeah. it's a built-in audience. I mean, yeah. like it's, yeah. it's up to us to, to do what we will with it, positive or negative, but I mean, it's amazing to come into this with such a strong fan base before we've even put anything out. Yeah, yeah. and I think it's amazing. I mean, at least for me, I, I love the comics, but didn't grow up as like a super fan like, like many of our cast members. So actually, I've actually taken many notes from fans. We, I meet people who cosplay my character, and our, our showrunner, Matt Nix, he, we, we you know, we're paying homage to the original mythology without sticking to it. Definitely. Yeah. But just like the comics, you know, they, if it's like Regeneration or the Exiles, you know, they take the liberty of like doing their own story within the realm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. we're kind of doing the same thing. Yeah, they're letting us add new parts, our own parts and draw characters from. And there's also that thematic of, of you know, uh, people getting their powers through something traumatic happen, mm -hmm. happening to them, which is, you know, it's great because it kind of champions the disenfranchised in society. Definitely. Marvel is definitely having a moment right now in TV. There are so many amazing shows right now. What do you think it is about The Gifted that's going to set you guys apart from the other awesome shows out there as well? Well, I think the first difference is like we're not off to like save the world. We're just trying to survive. That's really you know? good. And yeah. it's more of like the, we, you know, we are certainly, our show reflects like the political climate mm -hmm. currently. Yeah. We're not even trying to save the city. No, we're, we're just trying to save the city. Basically, we're complete narcissists. I was gonna say, we're just wearing we're just selfish. Selfish. Yeah. This is a selfish show. This is a selfish show. No, it's, it's, but we don't don suits and run around yeah. Yeah. or build suits and have billions of dollars to spend on these it, it, weapons. Yeah. It's, 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 it's just really a show about a family on the run. You know, just it just really is. And, 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 you know, we sort of end up in this subterranean culture, which is, you know, completely underground, running from, from him. And uh, <laughs> who represents everything bad. Yeah. <laughs> yes, just a little more. Hello, hello. Yeah. Um, for the fans out there who maybe aren't familiar with this subsection of the X-Men world, how would you describe The Gifted to them? Yeah. Who wants to take that? Um, I well, think I I've said enough. <laughs> so, okay, how about we each just take, take like a sentence? Sure, I'll start. Ooh, this is not easy. On one. Okay, oh, that's what we got. We're going to start down the line and then we're going to come then? here and you're going to end it. Okay, you ready? So we're really clear. All right, we're going to go down the line and you guys are all going to describe what The Gifted is about and finish each other's okay. sentence. Okay, great. Ready, it. Jamie? So, our world is set. Oh, no, sorry, let me start over. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. So, um, you know, our Marvel universe takes place in a time where the X-Men and the Brotherhood no longer exist. Amy. And mutants are being persecuted. They're outcast. And a, a prosecutor of said mutants who takes them off, out of the world, um, uh, basically ends up in a situation where he's his. And teenagers like my character and Percy's character are extremely afraid to be who they actually are, so we're taken into this other world. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, this family jo joins together, bonds together with another family of a different kind. I thought we were starting We're going to you. Yeah. yeah. It's made by Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> Which is awesome. And uh, the family 
has a collision course with these mutants who end up having to help each other. The end. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> that was excellent. Really? That's the way to really do it. Really good. Don't do that in any other interviews, okay? <laughs> okay. No, 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 we're doing we that. We've been rehearsing that. That's months. not the first time we've done it. This, we played it like this was a new thing. <laughs> Sure. Um, Amy and Steven, you both are parents yourselves. Are you tapping really into your own parental instincts when you're guiding these two through their kind of changing? This is like going through puberty on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of amazing how similar the conversations of like my soon-to-be teenage children are having with my mutant children, and they're like, except we don't have superpowers, Mom. <laughs> like, you guys are just as difficult as my mutant kids. <laughs> <laughs> you pesky mutant kids. Uh, my my teen, I've got two older teenagers as well as my two uh, four-year-olds, and my two teenagers are exactly the same age as these two, and so. Um, one of them and sitting look over there alike. and look like them. So it's it's been really interesting because you know the, the great thing about what Marvel does, what what Marvel does with this show, what the X Men show is about, is about you know teenagers going through what teenagers teenagers go through, but you know set through the prism of you know being able to fight back mm -hmm. uh, against the the things that are maybe persecuting them or or are difficult in school you know the, when the gene kicks in and it and they become mutants they're able to fight back for the first time and so which is a really nice idea you know for kids who are going through difficult times and of course Stephen we have to talk about the thought that your lovely wife is also in the X Men universe yes when you first found out about this project and you brought it to her was she like go for it what was her reaction well actually I, I read it and I really liked it and um, but she's such a sort of She's, a, she's brilliant with notes and she's brilliant with, with character stuff. And so I gave it to her and said, please read it. And, you know, as you probably know, because of the internet these days, I had an exploding link. So there was, I, I, I'd had two hours to read the script before the script disappeared. And then, and then so I got the exploding link put back up again so that Anna could read it. And, and she thought it was excellent. And, and just absolutely said, Go for it. I think it's. I think it's right up. You know. What right are the chances street. that we could get a little cameo, a little cross X Men? You know, I keep getting asked that. I have no power in this situation, <laughs> and I don't know whether it could happen. We um, don't like it. Uh, but I. But I, I. I don't think it would. It's certainly not going to happen in the near future. If it could happen, and and that is not me saying it is going to happen. I'm just <laughs> like I don't know. It's part of the same universe. You know. Lauren Schuler Donner is at home watching this interview and shaking her. <laughs> I, I am. just smashed her TV. <laughs> there is no plans for it. Put it that way. Okay. But okay. If, is it possible? I guess so. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, and then just to shift ever so slightly, um, you, the True Bud family most recently lost Nelson Ellis. How are you guys doing right now? You guys were so close together that, yeah. as a cast. Anna is at the funeral at this exact second Aww. in Chicago with a bunch of our gang. And uh, yeah, it's a really tough time, man. But you and Deborah are here together, so she's yeah, walking around for the Punisher. Actually, and, yeah, um, yeah, we talked about it. It's tough. Yeah, um, but I'm so excited for the Gifted. What is the one thing that you want future fans to know about the show before they tune in? Oh man, I know, Ooh. right? What we can actually I'd say. say yeah. yeah, I'd say um, just if you want something that you won't see in any of the Marvel films. Uh, watch our show. It's very much like a street-level view of the everyday lives of these people. They're first and foremost people, secondarily mutants.